Hello everyone, Marafa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys comparison video. And today we'll take a look at Hot Toys The Child vs. Sideshow The Child. But before we start, if you want to get this figure or any other day one releases, make sure you check out day one collectibles link in the description below. Also, if you use the code MOHC, you will get a 5% discount store wide. So don't forget to use the code. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos, figure previews, and now comparison videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. All right, guys, I have to tell you these two figures are beautiful, but I want to show you in detail the Hot Toys versus the Sideshow so you can make a good decision. Please let me know in the comments below which one of the two you like the most. All right, guys, enough with the talking. We came here to see the comparison. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the comparison. So we have here Grogu Sideshow and we have Grogu Hot Toys. And as you can see the difference on the head sculpt, the paint application is pretty much very similar. But you can see that the chicks on uh, Hot Toys is a bit settled. It's not too rough compared to the Sideshow one. This is a profile, and as you can see, they pretty much look the same shape. Uh, the ears are removable from the Hot Toys figure, but it is what it is. Taking a closer look at Grogu from Hot Toys, you can see very nice paint application. Now, two features that I like the most is the mouth that you can open, something that the Sideshow version doesn't do, and that's a point for Hot Toys. You can see the details there with the teeth. Then you can also remove the ears, which is something that personally I really like. The fact is that you can move it, it's magnetic, and you can put two set of ears that are basically, I guess, down, if you will. You can see the shape of the head, very nicely done as well. You have some fuzzy hair there, and of course, the front and the top of the head, very nicely done. Personally, I kind of like how this looks. The paint application is, to me, a bit better than Sideshow. Moving down, you can see the clothes, the outfit and very nicely done now let me see if i can show you if the camera helps i can show you some of the lines on the neck very nice attention to detail sideshow also showed that line which i'm going to show you later as well but i think overall this figure looks better to me you can see the hands that you can move it you can have you have articulation on the whole figure which is a huge plus of course we have the fat suit inside which is a black foam and don't worry i'm gonna put the card on the top so you guys can watch the full unboxing and review of this great figure you can see the chicken legs there you can see the bottom of the feet well painted and of course the outfit which i think needs more weathering i i will say maybe sideshow has a bit more weathering but over overall i like it and this is the back of the figure, and that's basically it for this one. Now, taking a look at the accessories, so I'm gonna show you basically very briefly, we have the display base here, which I personally really like with the grill on the top. This is the back, now there's no batteries for this one, I guess this is just a reusable uh, stand, and that's basically it for this stand. For the next piece, we have the ears that, as I said before, interchangeable, so you can switch it any time you want. Both have magnetics. Now for the next one, we have the arms, which are also removable. So that's another huge plus, different shapes, very nice paint application. I really like the nails and of course the skin color. This is the second pair of hands. Again, very similar to the previous one. Very nice um, paint application, especially on the palm of the hand. All right, guys, moving on to the next accessory for this one. We have this little ball here, which I think it is more um, screen accurate as far as the size, it is magnetic and you can see the blue in the middle. And let me show you the Sideshow one real quick so you guys can see the difference. The Sideshow one is a bit bigger, also magnetic. Now for the next accessory for this particular Hot Toys version, we have the color, which in my opinion looks beautiful. It is not metal, as I said before, it is plastic, but the paint application is on point. Point for Hot Toys because they gave us very nice accessories. Now, taking a look at the Sideshow Grogu, you can see the paint application is also very well done. Now, the colors on the cheeks is a bit, um, I don't know, it's not too good in my opinion, but it doesn't look bad at all. You can see the hands, all the details here with the nails, of course. The outfit is very well done as well with a nice weathering. Now, if you move this up, you can see the shape of the legs, which is one solid piece, so there's no articulation. 
the skin color is very nicely done as well and of course it's more flat compared to the Grogu uh, from Hot Toys the shape of the feet is a bit different now this is the back of the figure showing all the outfit and of course the weathering and last but not least the beautiful head sculpt as well now taking a look at the accessories that this Sasha figure comes with we have this plain um, display base which honestly I also like it I, th I think the, si the Hot Toys one is better but it is just my opinion and that's basically it for this moving on we have the ball which is the only two accessories this figure comes with it is magnetic as i showed you before and that's basically it for this accessory all right guys wrapping up here i'm gonna give you my honest opinion i think both figures are great I mean, by all means, SciShow is beautiful as well. One point that I'm gonna give to SciShow is the outfit. I think the weathering is better compared to the Hot Toys. Now, both head sculpts are very good as well, but I'm gonna give the point to Hot Toys because you can change the ears, you can open and close the mouth, and of course, you have the articulation on the Hot Toys figure, which to me is a huge plus. As far as accessories, SciShow one comes with only the stand and the little ball, Hot Toys comes with a bunch of accessories besides the ears, the hands, it comes with the necklace, the stand, and of course, the ball. Both figures are great, and I guess you will have to make your final decision to see which one you want to keep in your collection. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, don't forget to check my Instagram and Facebook group, Six Scale Media, for anything related. Once it's scale figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, Check out these two cool videos, and as always, be well, and see you around in the next video.